What's good guys man, it's your boy Strive for back another video, a pre-recorded one, it's been a long time but we're here. Um, obviously Sparking Zero Early Access has, has come out, it's been out now, for, it's, been a, it's been a day or, a day or two, um, I've put a good 11 hours into the game, like since, since, since then and I just want to quickly go through some of the things that I kind of found confusing when the game first came out and that's the settings, uh, more sort of controller settings, so I'm going to break that down. Uh, and kind of give you the best the best format that you should use for your controller when your controller and your gameplay when you're fighting online because i was kind of struggling to go through the motions when i was playing right so obviously first off start off go to your option settings uh go to controls so obviously we can start off with the player controls so or, or the general like general consensus consensus of the controls so i've got mine set to standard i've experimented with classic um i first started off playing classic i wasn't really feeling it so I'm, I'm currently on standard uh and then for you know vertical cameras this is all preference based so i've got my sense on 10 for for vertical and horizontal especially when you're like you've been hit with a super attack and you've, you're not locked on no more you have to use obviously your right stick to kind of navigate where that person is so having it having it to 10 just kind of makes it easier adaptive adaptive uh, adaptive triggers i've got that on does it's more of a gimmick it doesn't really do much and then for my binds i've more or less left them exactly as is i haven't really tweaked any of them not tweaked them at all so that's kind of been left as is um so if we move all the way over to the accessibility section now this is the section that's really really important and almost damn near made me lose a lot of my first few games so i've got my um battle assist set to custom typically there are other preset options like um, semi-automatic, auto, or off. So I've got mine set to kind of a custom format and I'm gonna just explain all of these little things. Well, I don't know everything off by heart, I'll be honest, but there's the more, the ones that I kind of had drawbacks from using, I'll explain. So with combo assist, I never really saw the difference with this I, unless I'm just sped and I didn't notice it. So I would, perf I would advise to just leave that as off um i might make a follow-up video if i see that i might try it on like after this and see how it might, might how it might how it might you know function but at, at the moment i recommend just having it off follow-up attack assist you can probably keep that off uh, dragon dash assist off dragon dash attack assist off um the reason why i put that on off is because you don't want to dash without not wanting to if that makes sense like you don't want to like you you've been you've been knocked back by an attack and the game will automatically assist you towards dashing back towards the opponent but that's who's to say that that's what you wanted to do you feel me so in that instance i would just turn that off bro like don't even risk it same for the dragon dash attack assist because that could just leave you vulnerable um guard assist i keep on you know just for assisting assistance with guarding and blocking um i I've, i ain't really seen any drawbacks of it myself so that's down to preference uh the recovery assist though is really helpful um when you're getting knocked back uh having to kind of recover i press r1 obviously for my settings for standard um when you get knocked back it's r1 if you get knocked down to the, towards the ground you you flick the left stick upwards uh and you know all of those kind of things but the, it just kind of makes it easier to recover when you've been knocked back i think it's quite helpful now this this is the one that made me lose so many games bro revenge counter assist leave this off by any means necessary do not turn this on bro this is literally what made me lose so many games bro i lost so many damn games due to that shit being on bro literally bro have that off bro don't turn that on honestly like if you turn that on you're you're putting yourself at risk like I'll be, I don't know how else to say it. You're gonna put yourself at a big risk, a uh, big disadvantage, because uh, someone could be attacking you, and then you're wasting your skill points to revenge counter. Like you just, it's just not ideal. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, left-handed mode, I have this off. Hit window, I don't know what this is. I might actually turn this on just, just to see what's what, that, what's that, what that's all about. Um, so yeah, and that's pretty much the main things. Obviously, I'd recommend experimenting with it if you see that you know. You, like if you if you do want to try something like combo assist try it and see but me personally i have it off um you know so 
that's just how, how, how I've gone about it. Obviously, if you do, you like, if some of you guys do use classic, I would like to hear your input or your insight. Like, is it something that's mad, mad useful? Like, have you guys seen mad success using, using classic? I would like to see that. But for me, I just feel like standard kind of works best. Um, it's just the easiest, easiest way to kind of go by it. Descend is your left, left trigger. Uh, key, key charge is your right trigger like it just kind of makes sense like i feel like that's quite similar to like most other games as well i'm pretty sure xenoverse the charging button was r2 if i remember correctly i think i can't remember it's been a while but yeah so i feel like it just makes a bit more sense so yeah that kind of that's just kind of the best way to go about it so yeah uh nothing th yeah so that's pretty much it i'm gonna keep, keep this very short and sweet if you guys have enjoyed the video please leave a like comment and subscribe it helps out massively for more tips and tricks on dragon ball sparking zero and more you know if you want to see more videos like this where i kind of break down some of the settings and some of the best control schemes best characters to use combos etc I'm, I'm gonna get into all of that I'm, I'm really enjoying like making content on this game like obviously i've just started but it's, it's been mad fun uh obviously i've just been uploading ranked gameplay but from you're gonna start seeing a more variety of like you know settings to use character master classes of like which basically just basically means me playing a set character that i really like and then just showing you the best of that character so i'm gonna start that off soon this week with deborah uh because I, I really like deborah deborah janemba like, those are like my two mains at the moment so yeah stay stay tuned man it's definitely worth subscribing for sure so yeah, aside from that, guys, in your boy's drive. See you, see you later.